Welcome to the Superbook Show. 29, 46, 32. Uh, what are you doing? I'm practicing for our soccer game. By yelling out random numbers? Yeah, we're playing against Groton on Saturday, and their coach uses a number system to call out plays during the game. Oh, so if he says something like 13, then the striker should pull back, something like that. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna call out random numbers to confuse the other team. Oh, that's smart. That's Tower of Babel smart. Right. Wait, Tower of what? Tower of Babel, changing of languages? Oh, we're not gonna change languages. We're gonna use English. Although we could try French. Quarante-du! Oh, no, I think that would just confuse me. No, I'm just referring to the time when the people of Earth were building the tower. Like the Superbook episode. Are these people trying to build a tower to reach heaven? God will do. To stop the project, God confused the languages of the workers. What is happening to you? I can't understand! So if they couldn't understand each other, they couldn't work together. Kenneth Roman and Joel Raphael say about God and Babel, he could think of no sure way to foil the project than to garble communication. That's exactly what our team is gonna do. Garble the communication of the other side. Nice to know our strategy has a biblical precedent. Good to know. <laughs> and what's next? Next? Normally your biblical stories always have a spiritual life lesson, something I can learn about God. Hey, not everything is about God. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, you're testing me. I'm gonna find it, one second. Oh, I found it. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Everything is about God, so spill it. <sighs> you know me too well. Have you prayed today? What does prayer have to do with anything? Well, suppose that someone wanted to get in the way of your relationship with God. How would they do it? You mean like spiritual warfare? I guess based on today's topic, it would mean garbling my communication with God. And one way that we communicate with God is... is prayer, oh. listening to God and talking to Him. So I guess in order to protect our spiritual life, we need to keep open communication with God. Always be joyful and never stop praying. Whatever happens, keep thanking God because of Jesus Christ. This is what God wants you to do. I like it. I need to go practice. Calling out numbers for the game? Praying! The game of life is more important than the game of soccer. True. His word is forever alive. Want to learn more about the Tower of Babel? You can watch the full episode for free at superbook.cbn.com. And while you're there, download the Superbook Bible app and read today's story from Genesis chapter 11. See you soon. Bye. Garbling the communication of the other side. Garble communication. Garble. Oh, garble. Garbling, like b. Garble. Garble. Garbling. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs>